Hello everyone, welcome back to some of Play Starkest Dungeon. I am sorry the episode will be quite a bit late. I didn't feel good at all. Like feverish and anything. I went to bed early, slept a lot, I'm feeling better now, so I decided ah, I'm not gonna leave you with an episode the whole day. It feels dumb, especially now that I'm feeling fit to record, so let's go. This is not on, none of these are the characters we need. Oh, more Crimson Corn. Holy moly, that was the best upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade it again. We're finding all the Crimson Corn trinkets. For the Thorn, armor piercing, dodge, and less speed. I'm taking it. Any antiquarian? I don't think we want that, but I'm taking it as well. The rest we have up here, I know all of these. We got other things with stun shots and stun resist, right? Okay. What are we at now? Courtyard mission. Do we get the worms with that bumper crop? That's not the one we want. Go to Sunward Isles. The thing is, I kind of want these three and one of these as a level up. Problem is, like we could probably do a short mission, right? And actually, none of these have any heals whatsoever. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, that didn't feel good. Okay. Um, is there a librarian in here? That would be ideal. There is not, and there is only threes and fours we can't use, so I can't really do that, right? I could take him and use the party heal. Try to use him as a heal. The problem is, if they had self heals, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that works. But they don't. <laughs> I feel like we're actually just gonna lose. <laughs> I guess I can try to get healing with trinkets, because I don't see anything here. My bumper crops is not the right thing. And there's a short one here that progress towards the boss. I think that actually lets us fight the boss. It's 80. These were 20%, right? And I can get them leveled up, like, you are 2, you are 3, you are up here. You do mantra. If I have a post heal, and then there's isn't there a self heal somewhere? What if I have do these two? So he can move forward with Iron Mountain, move back with the self heal, use these as party healing shenanigans. You can work from the third position, right? You can't do reap then. But you can do all the bleed and all the stun. I mean, you have AoE stun, you have this sap and this as stuns, and then you do the hole and slice. Bleed amount versus stun is kind of good. Hook and slice without hook and slice. I guess if I, I'm thinking to take this, he can stun the back line and pull, stun the front line. Stun the middle or do the guillotine on the middle versus stun. Put the monk in here. Some max energy and then she takes or he takes one of them takes the bonus damage versus stun. He does have he also has he already has damage versus stun, right? Extra stun here. I guess she takes the bonus damage versus stun then. I want the adapt though. We'll plan it like this in case we have to move back. You move in the two positions, you do the party heal. This is very sketchy. 
in a fire additional healing done, repost additional healing done. Okay. I mean, okay, sure. Do we have no trinkets for the... No, yeah, there. I was about to say that can't be right, but this is not the trinket we want. Wraith. Extra damage if HP is low. Bleed chance, bleed duration. Well, I'd like the, the Crimson Cord set with the stun chance, but it's not happening. Right. We can do stealth on you. No, okay, I think we'll try for some fun stuff. I forgot about that one. And this one, to be honest. Okay, so we take this on her. And some accuracy. Which is probably this, right? Accuracy so she doesn't miss, so the self-stun doesn't happen. And we have two people who stun a lot, so that hopefully deals a lot of damage to the stuns. You take that. 30% healing skills. I don't know how good this will be. We'll take other sources of healing as well. There is... That's also accuracy, by the way. But this is better accuracy, but maybe we want this accuracy on him, or here. I'm not go using him in position 3 right now, because we need the healing. Hmm. Oh, I like this. And then you take some accuracy. I mean, yeah. Why don't we take accuracy here? You take accuracy here. You're gonna be a big damage dealer. You have the guillotine. Always crits when HP is low. You will be our finisher, which means we put something on you that does party healing on kill or something like that. There's at least... I know there's spell books that do that. On kill, heal party 1, 2, 3. On friendly skill, that's not happening. Is there some other ones? On kill, other heroes heal, but that's only a chance. This would be kind of better, to be honest. On hit, do we have... I don't think we have heads that do party heals. No. Let me continue on with there might be something else. Oh, probably not. None of these, I know. We do have the healing, the life, life soul key. They are really good. But I guess we'll take the restoration book to on kill party heal. And then there's accuracy, speed, and crit. That would work. Oh, I like additional stun chance. Right? I mean, I could put this on him instead. And you take the stun chance and damage versus stun instead of the damage versus marked. But you need the stun chance more. You have like... Okay, what's the best way to get stun chance? The head there is really good. I think none of these do stun chance. These are pretty weak as stun chance. Okay, stun resist. Stun resist. There's stun chance and chance and everything else, but minus 15 accuracy is horrendous. Damage versus human, no. There's flat damage and stun chance, but his speed is getting real bad. There's stun chance, 30%, and some move resist and stun resist. I think we take the 20 Wasn't there like a stun ring or something down here? Stun amulet is, works for sure, but... No, no, we take the head instead. 
Hopefully you can heal enough. And otherwise hopefully you can heal a bit. And then we do enough damage to kill them fast. Because if we don't, we're screwed. Eh. Let's go. Okay, there is... It's only Sean. Actually... I'm gonna take all the food. That helps with healing as well. And we will take this. Six of them? It's pretty excessive, but they again... Uh, that increases their resolve experience. If we put two on you... You actually don't need any. You're level three. It's gonna take a while to level you up. Two on you, maybe be safe and put three on both. So they get much more experience and hopefully that helps them level up. It's only a short one. Maybe I'm wasting these. They're not easy to find. I'm gonna put two on both and hope that this is good enough. No, that's the wrong one. I want this one. Two, two. Actually, three, three. Some of this, some of this. Stack of torches. I think I'm in one one, just to be sure. Probably one of these is enough. Let's go. Another experimental party. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't use any of the extra experience, because this is only a short mission. This probably won't be enough. Even with the 50% more experience, if I put two on both of them to level up. But I'll try. Ah oh, crap, I think I forgot to put people into quirk working. And I didn't bring blood. That can be real bad. And this is very long for a short mission. Holy moly. We might be under-provisioned, except for food. Masterfully executed. Very nice. I'm waiting with using these until the end, by the way, in case we can't finish it. Place. Inner fires the repose. Mm, guillotine doesn't work. A double stun to the middle dudes. That seems good. Damn it, I was hoping we get the extra damage versus stun here. Now I guess we can just collect the bounty. Or not. Oh! I guess you get the guarantee, uh, the extra damage here. It removes the stun though, that's not worth it. We could mark him, and then we get the guaranteed party heal. Right. Try to put this on her though. He's already kinda dead. Holy moly. That's a big repost. He has very high stun resist. That didn't work out. Oh, it's a free action. My is actually just better. How long is the repulse is still another round? You do the it's not the guaranteed crit. Or maybe it is, I don't know. You do some party healing. So far the healing is actually working fine. As the fiend falls, a faint hope Maybe the extra stun damage on her wasn't great because she's the fastest. Their formation is broken. 
Maintain the offensive. What just happened? Parasitic burst, refresh? A singular strike. Hit you with that stun. And then I guess you can actually just mantra. Because he's stunned. Boom. A trifling victory. That went pretty nicely. A, victory nonetheless. A debuff, eh? So let's just talk with you. Crap. I'm gonna kill you first. You're the annoying healer. Curve is bleeding damage versus mark no. Do I no I can't stun you. Oh, you have damage versus mark. There's not gonna be a finish him on this one. Double repose. You do your inner fire, that's a self heal for a lot. Kill you. Maybe I should have left you alive? I don't know. Can we pull you? Oh, reduce healing. Because guillotine doesn't work. Could try to pull you. You can't be stunned. I guess we try to do bleed. Didn't work out. Oof. That's a lot of damage. I think I'll try the pull finish. Okay, and then didn't go the plan the way I planned. Actually could have finished him. He can attack the first three. Ooh, that's a mistake. Continue the onslaught. I don't think we're fine. I wanna want to kill you. So I guess we do this. You're gonna heal all of these. You will hopefully get. Oh, we can't hit the first position unless we stun. Damn it. Okay, it got dodged. How do we do this now? I don't think we can. Like, find a way to pull, push this one back. But he's dead, so maybe the monk can get another healing done. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. HP is getting kind of low. Right, just talking to us is just always. There has to be something to. I think I tried the Omamori already. Did I? I didn't check. This is the shorter way. We have to backtrack, backtrack either way. Oh, that's actually good. You have melee attacks, so we'll try to put this on you. Blade Master. Really good. That's the next one we'll lock in, for sure. Okay. Inner Fire. Ooh, high roll. And the heal over time. De stealth you? If there is a crit and a high roll, we could get a kill. Or we just double stun. And then he can do a finish him on one of these. 
That's a guaranteed kill. Decimated. Festering fear consumes the mind. Hmm. Try to kill you. Impressive. She's critting a lot. Okay, you, I guess we put the Laudonium on you. I'll do a come hither. Maybe it works. It does. I would like to have a dead. Ah, oh, crap, he can leave now. Okay, we will get a party heal. The ground quakes. It's a slow roll. Let's heal your bleed and do the repost again, right? Let's just self heal. The monk is really good as a kind of bad version of the martyr, to be honest. Hopefully she misses with her reduced accuracy. Damn it. Because that's going to be another heal. The supplemental healing is actually not needed. He is... So far, he is good enough. As victory sure. mount, so too will resistance. Just be safe. That's... Oh, it's a quirk removal. Slow reflex is unfortunate, but that's fine. I guess Necromania? Infirm? I think the interaction we're gonna get rid of. Distracted? Okay. It's not the one I wanted to hit, but fine. Oh, nice. There's gonna be a fight here. Ah, oh, he's craving. No! Do I want to get. I think we. The stress levels are getting a bit high. If you actually stun them. But now I can stun both their stress dealers, by the way. I should probably increase... Oh, no! The torch. I'm not gonna increase the torch light. This is the last fight on this side. I like the sound of the Oni slap. It's just... <coughs> big punch. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. I'm gonna do the heal on her, that's why I left her alive. She already attacked, so it doesn't matter. Got it. Well struck. Mm, guaranteed crit and small small party heal. Got a mark? One of these has bonus damage versus mark. I think it's him, yeah. Obliterated. Got him. I have no idea what's happening here. Is it something to do with the Crimson Curse? No way, right? The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Stun chances are low. Oh, we still stun him. And then we'll mark him. And then he gets. Oh, that's it. Removes the stun. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
He does the These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Take it. Okay, the plan is we'll let the torch run, uh, burn low while we go here. Please start craving for a bit longer. Oh! Oh! Oh, I lost cargo. Uh, for some reason, thought we could get a rest. That's a trap. I guess 95. We're walking in here because we can skip the longer walk back there. And we're moving back. I can't believe I missed that he is cursed. He must be one of the first ones who got cursed. Because he's still level 4. That means he got cursed early on and then everybody just leveled past him. And it's surprising because he has a nice like setup. We have 95. We'll let it go to pitch black and then use both torches before this fight. Or all four torches, I guess. You know what? 12 food is still enough for the rest of this dungeon. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. And then we have enough torches to put him to 100 torchlight just purchase, before the fight. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oof. That's a powerful start for them. And they are not in the right orders, but this is fine. I think he's better in second position, because enemies attack second position more often. That's kind of what I wanted, what I like, didn't want to see. But now I can stun you, and then your mark can stun, so she will have a field day. It's gonna be great. Do some party healing with Mantra. Why is she so slow? I don't understand. Okay, here we go. That's big damage numbers. I'm gonna... I kinda want the stress dealer killed next, but I guess we'll take you. Oh, I should have done an attack. I thought stun, so she gets the bonus damage again. But no, that, that was a bad move. I guess I'll kill you next then, because this will be the mark for his... Uh, Finish him attack. Unnerved, unbalanced. Some blight, and we get the kill. Oh no! Never mind. <laughs> Enemies with restoration. That's not fair. And now we're in trouble. He's getting all the attacks. And this is the best heal we got, and it's pretty bad. Hey, I can do this though. Precision. It does heal. Then we'll stun you. Oh no. Then I was hoping we could get the stun hit here. I think just getting the Kazobaki low is better than doing the mark. Because that's a kill with the finish. And then maybe we can stun you? No? Okay. Let's reduce your accuracy. I think it's more important than the mark. It didn't work out. I can do. By the way, why did the Iron Mountain heal? I think that's a crit effect, right? 
gonna do this to do some healing. Oh, maybe I should have just tried the other attack and get made him take the kill. Push on to the task's end. Will this is uh, Journey of Diana Falcon? We saw this one already. Do I want to take a crest? I guess instead of the shovel. Open up this. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Somehow. I mean the thing is, we're going through this, there's no more fights. And then Oh he's wasting okay. Please, you will survive until we get there, right? Oh that's that's very interesting. I think we could have used the anti-venom here. Oh no, desecrator! Oh no. Okay, don't don't you dare die to the crimson curse, because we're going in here and we're finished. Okay, now I'm getting the extra experience on you. Twenty-five. Oh, we can only use one. Okay, and on you. Yeah, we can only use one. Okay, on you it's not needed because you will level up for sure. And on you, it won't help. You will not level up high enough. So, experiment. We couldn't quite do the healing against it. And I'm pretty sure only the Wraith will level up, yeah? Because with only 25% increased on the short mission, they will not have enough, right? It's only plus one resolve experience, actually, that would work for the next time. If we do another short, they're at 30. 36 is the level up. Yours will still be a while. The Mong was surprisingly good here. No, extremely good. I like the interplay between the Mark and the Stun shenanigans with these three, though. That was fun. Like one character marks for this character, and this character stuns for this character. Slave to the beast, and the beast is slave to the moon. That's a new voice line for me as well. I like it. I mean, I have an idol abomination even. Oh, that's actually good. I was just thinking, uh, whatever, but... And he goes up to level 4. Sure. Our gold isn't that great anymore. We bought a lot of... Um, Crimson Core trinkets. Do we have stress on someone? You're a bit stressed, but... I'm thinking you have... Like, idols, idols, town and idol stress relief. You... Want to put somewhere? You are have a love interest, okay? And then there's diseases. I saw a few. You we can't put here. You we can though. All right, that's the disease. That's actually not too bad. You we can't put in there. So never mind. There's no diseases. Well, real short episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.